everybody, Draconic Games here with the fifth episode of Life is Strange Before the Storm. I am here, uh, right in front of Steph and Mikey, where we played the game last time. Uh, with if I'm Nick. late to class, that's just one more excuse for Mom to sick David on me. Well, alright, so we need to hurry up and get to class. So, um, anyways, uh... I hope you're enjoying the series so far. It, it's honestly been really, um, fun to play. So, uh... What the hell? What have you got here, Twitch? Don't call me that! True North. A jock so dumb he makes jocks look bad. Guess Nathan Prescott made the shit look... Oh, wow. This is some really weird crap, Prescott. It's not yours. Give it back! I hate that you're on the team now. <laughs> you're such a loser. Guys, no need to fight. You can both be losers. The mute speaks? Whoa, whoa! You earn a spot on the squad, Twitch. You don't have your dad try to buy off the coach. At least my family pays tuition. How much financial aid does your deadbeat dad need again? Wow. Dick move, Nathan. My dad lost his job at the shipyard when your dad closed it down. And you want to talk shit to me? Leave Nathan alone! You know something, Prescott? I'm gonna do you a favor. You can't be a part of the team and be into this stupid crap at the same time. You're a piece of shit. I am going stop to it. kill you. You guys, stop! Chloe, do something! Don't just stand there watching! Guys, I, I, knowing me, I have to step in. The only way to stop a bully is to be aggressive. I've got to put Drew down. Back off, idiot. What the hell did you just say to me? Uh, back off? Back off? As in, go away? No one's interested in your crap. You're seriously defending Nathan Prescott? How about picking on someone your own size, which I hear is pretty small. You're such a crazy freak. Mind your own business. Uh, crazy, yeah. You have no idea how crazy I am. Keep pushing and find out. You want a piece of this? Please. Kicking your ass is going to be a piece of cake. <laughs> did you just laugh? I did. Chloe just owned you. Shut the fuck up, fresh meat. You shut the fuck up. Go, Samantha. <laughs> Guess you got lucky this time, Prescott. Had two girls show up to save you. Take your pervy picture book. Are you okay? You think I need help? From you? You're welcome. Are you alright? Thanks for sticking up for him. People think just because of his family. Everything okay here? <laughs> no problem, Skip. I think I like Skip more than uh, David. But how, how did David lose? Yeah. Hmm. All right. Um. Maybe if I delay going inside long enough, Blackwall will be overrun by future excellence. Okay, I pressed the wrong button. Okay. Oh, good. You're here. Is that Rachel? I do beseech you, chiefly that I might set it in my prayers. What is your name? Miranda. 
Oh, my father, I have broke your hest to say so. Good. Admired Miranda. Indeed worth what's dearest in the world. Many a lady I have eyed with best regard, and many a time had listened to... Many a time, the harmony of their tongues... Hath I listened to... Hayden, you're killing me. You've had weeks to be off book. Sorry, Mr. Keaton. No, don't apologize to me. Apologize to your scene partner, who's been very accommodating, and to your other fellow actors. And most of all, to yourself. Mr. Keaton! Sorry to interrupt, but does this look better? I had my mom take it in a bit. Rachel looks awesome. So that is Rachel. This is getting as surreal as last night. Looking good, Rach. Very cool. Exquisite, Rachel, as always. Mr. Keaton, I'm still having trouble with... My affections are then most humble. I have no ambition to see a goodlier man. I mean, does she really mean that? Especially because I just straight out told her I've been banging all the ladies. <sighs> yeah, that is hard. We've talked about that line forever. We need a fresh perspective. What? The question is... Are Miranda's feelings of instant passion for Ferdinand just inexperience in dramatic circumstances, or has she actually just met the love of her life? What do you think? Sometimes, when you meet someone who's going to change your life, you just know it, I guess. Also, you've got parents coming to see the show, right? At 20 bucks a ticket, it's gotta be true love. Wow. A romantic and a cynic. That actually kind of helps me. Thanks. Hmm. Thanks, Mr. Keaton. Later. See you later, guys. Oh, no. I have first period improv with a class full of freshmen now. I'll just be a minute. Okay, so why am I here again? Oh, could you grab my belt for me? I think it's in my bag over there. Uh, y yeah, sure. Okay, uh, get the belt. Don't say any stupid shit and don't, like, fall. Rachel looks so happy here. Hmm. Here's that belt. There's Rachel's belt. Why do I have a bad feeling about Guess this? Guess I'll go give this to Rachel now. Uh, Rachel? Is this your belt? Yes! <laughs> Thank you. I gotta do it. Yeah, cool costume. I really liked your costume. Thanks. So, did you bring flowers for my dressing room? What, do I owe you? Uh, <laughs> I guess I owe you. I'll hold you to that. Hmm. I'll let you finish changing now. <laughs> Chloe Price. Rachel Amber. Last night was amazing. Yeah. Uh, I, I'd never seen Firewalk live. Pretty fierce show. We'll have to do it again. To tell the truth, I went to bed last night wishing it never had to end. But then I thought, why? Why does it have to end? Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it doesn't uh, have to end. Exactly. How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Wait. 
ditch class. You mean it? Is that weird? No, it's awesome. Hmm. Let's get the hell out of here. Okay. Okay. You sure you don't want to just grab the bus, or...? Nope. If we're gonna go rogue, we're doing it right. Well? What the hell am I getting into here? <laughs> Where does this thing go? North? Maybe we'll end up in Seattle. Pull up a chair, Price. The view's amazing. Yeah, really. Rachel wants me to pull up a chair. Maybe one of these crates. Things heavier than it looks. Guess I should sit down. All right, Chloe. You're on a freaking train with Rachel freaking Amber. Play it cool. Is this nervousness? Why are you nervous? Is that what this feeling is? Wish Max were here so I could ask. Should I make small talk? Is that what people do? Uh... Uh... Yeah, uh... uh <laughs> so... Um... What is wrong with you? What? You're acting nervous. I'm uh, pretty obvious. So... It's kind of weird that we're hanging out. You mean because I don't hang out with anyone and I don't have any friends? You have friends. Well, I used to. Friend. Singular. Her name was Max, but she left for greener, more northern pastures. I don't think it's greener up in Seattle. That sucks. Uh, yeah, thanks. Hey, so, I want to say thanks. For pulling you out of school? No, dummy. Thanks for last night. Ah. Uh, if you hadn't shown up. Assholes abound in Arcadia Bay. Mm -hmm. I owe you. That's for sure. Is that why you came along? Are you suggesting I should need a reason to ditch school? I bet you're wondering what we're doing. The thought occurred, yeah. Well... I wanted some company. That's it? That's it. I'm gonna need a little bit more Try again. I'm going to need more to go on than that. Joy rides with me aren't fun? Joy rides to where again? Life needs a little mystery, Chloe. Let's do something fun. Yeah. Okay, I'm listening. Two truths and a lie. Oh, God. What? I think oh. we should play two truths and a lie. It's a game where each person offers up three facts about themselves, two of which are the truth, and one of which is... A lie. Right. And then the other person has to guess which is which. Hmm. Yeah, sounds fun. Sounds fun. You're on. I'll start. First, I'm ambidextrous. Don't even know what that means. Second, I was born in New York, the land of fashion and Broadway, to which I will one day return when my heinous exile here in Arcadia Bay comes to an end. New York, huh? I've never been. Not a world traveler? 
Not yet, at least. If you could travel anywhere, where would you go? Russia, Greece, Kathmandu? Kathmandu? One day, I'm going to climb Everest. So what happened to the game? And I thought moving away from Arcadia Bay was ambitious. What's your third thing? Yeah. My third thing? Two truths and a lie. You say three things. Right. I'm a Leo. Meow. Okay. <laughs> so, ambidextrous, born in New York, and a Leo. Gotcha. So, which is the lie? I'm gonna say Leo. You're way too lucky to be a Leo. You've gotta be a Sagittarius or something. The Archer? That'd be cool. Like Artemis. But I'm afraid I was telling the truth. Seriously? Hear me roar. <laughs> no, the lie was New York. God dang it! I've never been there. Though I want to one day. I was born in Long Beach. New York's on the bucket list then. Sounds good. Okay, your turn, Price. First fact, right. Something about myself. Should I start things off with a lie or with the truth? Or should I cheat? Let's see how good she really is at this game. Yeah, we'll start with the truth. Um. Yeah. I used to want to be a pirate when I grow up. I kind of still do. Arr. Yeah, we're not gonna cheat. Um, I'm allergic to cats, yeah. Sad to say this, since you're a Leo and all, but I'm allergic to cats. Are you now? Swear. And truth, uh, yeah. I used to love country music when I was a kid. Now it makes me want to throw up. Literally. That's weird. You're hella mysterious, Chloe Price. Uh, hella? <laughs> Who says that? It's a Cali thing. Anyway, I think I have your number. I'm not sure why country music makes you throw up. I'm a complex girl, Rachel. I think it's probably true. Also, I kinda like the Dixie Chicks. You and David both. No accounting for taste. Who's David? He's, ah, uh, <laughs> the guy my mom's seeing, I guess. Oh. And you don't like him. <laughs> it's still so weird that she's dating someone. My dad and my mom, <laughs> they were totally in love. You can tell how fucked up she is now just by how she's settling for David. He's this total hard-ass ex-military jagoff type. Like, the opposite of my dad. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. David has no respect. He acts like I'm some kind of problem to solve. Sometimes I am a problem, though. That's a load of bullshit. Hmm. What? What do you mean? You're not a problem, Chloe. You're a person. It sounds like the only problem is David. You need to hit him where it hurts. <laughs> the only thing that David loves has four wheels and a four-barrel carburetor. Oh, God. A muscle car? I'm probably going to steal it soon, so... Let me know if you need an accomplice. Of course you wanted to be a pirate. Sail the open seas. Uncle Swash. Plunder secret treasure. So, pirate. Obviously true. Like you said. Arr. Which brings me to your alleged cat allergy. Alleged? I'm calling lie. Why is that? I mean, maybe you're allergic. But I've passed by your locker a few times. 
And I've seen that old photo of a cat you keep in there. Yeah. His name was Bongo. It was a gift from my dad. Did he pass away? Yeah. My dad died two years ago. I thought everyone knew that. I meant Bongo. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> of course, that's what you meant. I'm so sorry. Hey, that's okay. Awkward moment of the year. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. So, if my math is correct, you told me two truths and one lie. What? You expected me to cheat? Winners make their own rules, Chloe. You are crazy good at this game. A lifetime of studying the human condition. I'm impressed. Well, I'm impressed. I bet it's hard to impress Chloe Price. I'm gonna feel good about that one. When your dad is the district attorney, I guess lying is something you're used to. Oh. Seriously? Seriously. I know who to call if I need to get out of a ticket then. Not that I have a right of my own. Car first. Embarrassing number of moving violations second. Hey, thanks for trusting me. Trusting you? You played the game. And not everyone would admit to wanting to be a pirate. But eye patches are so cool. And rum is delicious. Also, you told me about that dickwad David. Now he's on my shit list too. Hell yeah. Mustache brain won't know what hit him. <laughs> I guess. You opened up a lot. That's all. It's not a big deal. I hate to break it to you, but Chloe Price is not exactly renowned throughout Arcadia Bay as a bastion of trust and empathy. Well, I do trust you. I'm just not really into touchy-feely shit. But I feel like I can trust you. Yeah? I got on this train with you, didn't I? Fair point. <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't mind listening to some music. Yeah, never break. Hey, wanna listen? Oh god, no copyright. Ah, ah. Okay. Um. Anyways, this is this is actually nice. Um. Uh. What? Uh, trying to find something to say. Uh, anyways, uh, guys. Uh, yes, leave. 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 Yes. 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 Thank you. That was awkward. I don't. I'm not good at small talk. Cool bracelet. I've had it, I guess, since I was a kid in Long Beach. It reminds me that there's more to experience out there than just Arcadia Bay. Maybe one day I'll go back to Long Beach. Or anywhere but here. Maybe sooner than later. Yeah, I hear you. Me too. Arcadia Bay can suck a bag of dicks. Sometimes I feel like I've got no reason to stay. Don't be surprised, Chloe, if one day I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Check it out! We're here! What? Where is here? Jump and find out! Did you say jump? Jump! Fuck it! I'm just trying to find a, a spot I can save at. Hear that music. 
Are we are we at the lighthouse area? Are we seriously going to the lighthouse? Did it take that long to go there? I do like the music though. Very interesting. No, I don't think we're at the lighthouse. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Hey, it's actually a pretty nice view. Glad you approve. And as your reward for making it up here, I have a new game for us to play. Another one? I like games. Deal with it. <laughs> this is one I learned in theater class. It's all about improvisation. Uh, yeah, game acting lying. So far, what I've learned about you is that you're into acting, lying, and playing games. What's your point? That you're either full of imagination or full of shit. Hmm. Let me know when you figure out which one. This game involves spying on people from afar. Luckily, we got some high-tech surveillance equipment right here. Let's fire it up. Is it not working? That blows. Well, shit. That was my last quarter. You? Quarterless. Damn. Hey, maybe I can MacGyver something up. I've been told I'm pretty handy. Oh, yeah? Let's see what you got. All right, can I save here? That's all I'm wondering. Yes. Rachel okay. really wants to use this viewfinder. I'd love to get it working for her. Well, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this episode of uh, Life is Strange Before the Storm. If you have, hit that like button down below to show your support for the channel because it would be amazing if you did. And yeah, it's just, uh, I hope you have enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, and come to the channel again. Yeah, take care, everybody. Bye. See ya!